I'm a retired police officer from the city of Indio. I did 19 years in the city, and I've been here at the uh, Boys and Girls Club now for 13 years. Yeah, I was constantly looking for a bathroom. I'll have a group of kids would be talking, I'll be working out in the garden. I'll be right back. I had to run off to the restroom. And the doctor, I'll never forget this, he told me, I cannot keep you from dying because you will die one day, but you will not die from this. Here we go. And he said, and one of the reasons why is because he you did your periodic checkups like you're supposed to have done, and we found it early. My urologist told me, you know what, I have another doctor like for you to go see at Providence St. John. So when I went there, I talked with the doctor and I was armed with my hundred questions and I was relaxed with all the answers he gave me. I ran out of questions even. I was trusting him with my life. You know, while staying at Providence St. John, the, uh, the hospital staff it was remarkable. And we sit in the room and laugh and talk and whatnot. And I felt I had some friends there. I, saw, I met some friends at that hospital. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. A lot of the guys feel that, oh, I'm not going to have that done, you know, because it's too private. Well, have it done. Swallow your pride. Since my surgery, and I've returned uh, to my part-time job here at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we made a trip recently to Los Angeles to the Museum of Tolerance, and not one time did I have to use that bathroom on the back of that bus. So it was wonderful. It's great. I just feel 100% better now since I've had the surgery done. Being here at the Boys and Girls Club means a lot to me. Those are the hands of the people that did the planning. Just to see them grow into something, see them doing something in their life, that's fulfilling for me.